pass complete number 14, Emmett Dwyer. Quarterback keeper running ball number two, Bryce Segrist. Tackle made for the Badgers by number six, Ty McCormick. Number two, Bryce Segrist, the ball carrier. There's a fumble on the play. incomplete. Your fast falls incomplete. The nearest receiver was number one, Cooper Holmes. Eli Buffalo. Number two, Bryce Segrist, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number two, Luke Lewis. And number 44, Ben Duke. There is a penalty flag.
Secret pass balls incomplete intended for number one, Cooper Holmes. That is the end of the first segment. The next segment will feature Heber Springs offense versus BB defense. Garcia falls incomplete. Number 21, Lucas Garcia, the ball carrier. the pass complete number 21 Lucas Garcia Number 19, Dice Young, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 8, Carter Toronto.
because the fast fastball is incomplete. Penalty flag, delay of game. Yeah. Number 19, Dyke Young, the ball carrier, knocked out of bounds by number 83, Keaton Mumford. Incomplete, intended for number 22, Josiah Riggs. Trouble on the play recovered by number six, Ty McCormick. Garcia. Ball will be placed back at the 40-yard line. Junior Badgers will retain possession for this segment.
Number five, Parker Jackson, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number three, Elijah Jones. Jackson pass completes to number 11, DeMarco Moore. Six yard game. DeMarco Moore, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number two, Bryce Segrist, 10 yard gain. Number two, Luke Lewis, the ball carrier. Nine yard gain. And that is the end of the third segment. The next segment will also feature a group of BB offensive players against Heber Springs defensive players. Number 18, Nick Whitfield, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 56, Casey Pierce. Seven yard gain. Number 18, Nick Whitfield, the ball carrier, tackled by several Hebrew Springs defenders, 10-yard game. McCormick's pass falls incomplete.
Bryan will be flagged on the play. Number five, Parker Jackson, the ball carrier. Tackle on by number 76, Hayden Andrews. Number five, Parker Jackson, the ball carrier. Five yard gain. And the teams will take a seven minute break followed by a full regulation quarter. real support for you and for our home state. So friends.
number six, Ty McCormick, the ball carrier. Tackle made by several Hebrew Springs defenders, including number 14, Emma Dwyer, and number 21, Lucas Garcia. Seven yard gain moves the ball to the 40 yard line. Badgers will elect to punt. No special teams in tonight's scrimmage. 30 yard punt moves the ball to the 30 yard line. Hebrew Springs will take over first and 10. Number 11, Eli Buffalo, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 41, Stephen Sullivan. Two yard gain, second and eight. Ball at the 32 yard line. Pass complete to number one, Cooper Holmes. Touchdown, Heber Springs. Sixty-eight yard completion. No special teams, that will make the score. Heber Springs 6, BB 0. The BB offense will take over. First and ten, ball is a 20 yard line. Number two, Luke Lewis, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 56, Casey Pierce. Four yard gain on the play. Second and six, ball at the 24 yard line. Number two, Luke Lewis, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number three, Elijah Jones. Ball out to the 39 yard line. That is enough for a BB Junior Badger. First down. Penalty <laughs> flight on the field. Illegal substitution against Heber Springs. Five yard penalty. First and five, BB, ball at the 44 yard line.
two, Luke Lewis, the ball carrier, crosses midfield. That is enough for a Phoebe Luther Badger. First down. Pass complete number five, Parker Jackson. Tackle made by number 14, Emmett Dwyer. That play is enough for a baby senior badger. First down! Number 18, Jordan Hunter, the ball There's a penalty flag on the field. Full start to call against BB, five yard penalty. 
this ball back to the 25 yard line. First and 15, Junior Badger. Number two, Luke Lewis, the ball carrier. Junior Badgers, second time out. Badger fans, a reminder that season passes are available to purchase and chair back seats are available for $60. Purchases today from Central Office or Athletic Director Ryan Marshall. And a reminder, chair back seats are available for purchase $50 from Ryan Marshall, Athletic Director. to number 11, DeMarco Moore. However, there is a penalty flag on the field. Procedure call against BB. Five-yard penalty moves the ball back to the 24-yard line. Third and goal.
Performance Pass intercepted as the buzzer sounds. That will do it for the junior high scrimmage. Peter Springs, six. CB, zero. We'll take a short break and then the high school teams will scrimmage. Fans are reminded the home concession stand is open this evening. Peter Springs fans, you are more than welcome to get your steps in. Come over and support our band. If you want the real deal, call State Farm Agent Patrick Sinclair in Cabot today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. A Perfect Bloom and BB is your hometown destination for all of your floral needs, gift shopping, clothing, and wedding preparation. You can check out their incredible gourmet food selection, everything from dips, meal mixes, and party accessories. A Perfect Bloom also has all of the trendy fashions like Gypsy Jazz, Kong Con, Anna Grace, and so much more. Plus, their gift shop has everything from candles to gift baskets, jewelry, and so much more. Stop by A Perfect Bloom at 407 West DeWin Henry Drive in BB or give them a call at 501 501- 882-2144. Network Services Group is a proud sponsor of BB Badger Athletics. Network Services Group has been serving BB and the Central Arkansas area for over 30 years, and they are here to help with all companies' IT needs. If your company needs security, backups, or even a help desk support for your day-to-day business, make sure you check out Network Services Group online at www.nsgdv.com. Network Service Groups love supporting your BB Badgers. Moneyball Motors and BB is your destination for quality pre-owned vehicles. Whether you have no credit, bad credit, good credit, or even excellent credit, Moneyball Motors has all kinds of financial options for you, with rates starting as low as 3.9%. They offer free appraisal and Carfax history reports on any vehicle, whether you are buying or selling anywhere. Trade-ins are welcomed also at Moneyball Motors, and they offer extended warranties to any customer. You can find Moneyball Motors at 2000 West Center Street in BB or check them out online at moneyballmotors.com or give them a call at 501-232-0414. Can I get a big dill cheeseburger? Grill and the cheeseburger. Adding the pickle fries. Almost done with the dilly ranch. Order up. Sonic big dill cheeseburger. Lisa here has had many jobs. She's worked in retail during the holidays, as a barista during rush hour, and a nanny to a couple of rambunctious kids. Now, all that experience has led her to a job that feels like home. With Home Instead, you too can become a caregiver to older adults with a career that makes a difference. Apply today. When you bank with First Security, You're choosing real support for you and for our home state. So friends, families, and fellow Arkansans 
find better solutions together. It's another way First Security helps Arkansas bank better. And it's why you should call on us today. First Security, bank better. Since 2003, First Trust has been providing exceptional home loan experiences to our customers. We're constantly growing and expanding into other areas throughout Arkansas and many of the southern and midwestern states. We're the largest independent mortgage company based in Arkansas. That means we can provide Sheridan with the best personal care and competitive rates. First Trust Home Loans. Mortgages made easy. Your home is where your memories live, where you laugh, and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof. Tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Burroughs Drug and BB has been in business for nearly 55 years. That's three generations of our family serving the BB community. Burroughs Drug is a full service pharmacy offering services such as convenient drive through curbside pickup, and delivery. Plus, they even offer a complete line of vaccinations and even pet medications. Check out Burroughs Drug at 45 Highway 64 West or give them a call at 501 882 5425. That's Burroughs Drug. We are your hometown pharmacy. Bull Creek Outdoors is your hometown dealer for all of your outdoor equipment needs. We offer rentals for those DIY weekend projects or weekly or monthly contractor terms for those that are in business. Bull Creek Outdoors also is one of the largest dealers in the United States for Spartan and Intimidator products. They offer American-made Spartan zero-turn mowers and Intimidator side-by-sides built locally here in Arkansas with great financing plans available. Bull Creek Outdoors is here to serve the local community and support American-made products. Before you buy, give Bull Creek Outdoors a try. Located right off exit 29 in BB. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. At Big Red Stores, we're always proud to sponsor, support, and partner up with many events and activities throughout the community. Among them, high school championships throughout the state of Arkansas. At Big Red Stores, our team members are always ready to assist you to make your visit with us a pleasant one. And at Big Red Stores, we recognize that none of our support or ability to serve the community is possible without you. That's why at Big Red Stores, you're always the MVP of the Big Red team. Big Red Stores, now more convenient than ever. My name is Richard Bell. I'm the CEO and president of Bell & Company. Why do people at Bell & Company stay so long? I guess because it's a, a great place to work. It's a great place for opportunity, and it's really a great place for someone who is first generation to succeed, usually maybe being the first in their family to uh, graduate from college, and then also those who are uh, want to be uh, rewarded for their hard work and expertise and uh, what we're all about kind of first generational type uh, success. I'm Richard Bell, I'm the CEO and president of Bell & Company and uh, thank you for uh, watching our video and uh, hope that you will look at us as a firm that you would like to work for going forward as well as uh, maybe as being a client. At American Safeguard Insurance, you get an actual human being just down the street to get advice on the confusing world of insurance. There's no need to shop around every time your insurance company tries to rate rates. You can relax and let us do it for you. Having a choice is a big deal, and when insurance companies compete, you save money. One of the most important benefits is we actually monitor your premium for rate increases. If we notice a rate increase, we reshop your premium to ensure the best rate. And when the time comes to use your insurance, and we hope it doesn't, you have a friend to help guide you during one of the most stressful times of your life. All your needs under one roof, from vehicle to life insurance, and everything in between. We protect it all. Whether you need insurance for health, life, or business, 
know that American Safeguard Insurance has the BB community well taken care of. That's because we're committed to bringing you rates that fit your budget and coverage that gives you and your family peace of mind. So if you need fast, personal service from an experienced team that's ready to take care of you, remember that you've got a friend right down the street. American Safeguard Insurance. Call us to get more coverage, more savings, and more service today. Always ready, always there. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Do you have the right financial advisor to help reach your goals? Ameriprise Advisors can create a personalized goal-based plan to help you prepare for whatever life brings so you can feel more confident about your financial future. Call Ameriprise Financial Advisor Bill Hanley or Jeremiah Casiaro with Foresight Financial Advisors, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, at 501-882-6530. That's 501-882-6530. Offices are located at 110 North Main Street in BB. Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Patrick Sinclair in Cabot today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. A Perfect Bloom and BB is your hometown destination for all of your floral needs, gift shopping, clothing, and wedding preparation. You can check out their incredible gourmet food selection, everything from dips, meal mixes, and party accessories. A Perfect Bloom also has all of the trendy fashions like Gypsy Jazz, Con Con, Anna Grace, and so much more. Plus, their gift shop has everything from candles to gift baskets, jewelry, and so much more. Stop by A Perfect Bloom at 407 West DeWin Henry Drive in BB or give them a call at 501 501- 882-2144. Network Services Group is a proud sponsor of BB Badger Athletics. Network Services Group has been serving BB and the Central Arkansas area for over 30 years, and they are here to help with all companies' IT needs. If your company needs security, backups, or even a help desk support for your day-to-day business, make sure you check out Network Services Group online at www.nsgdv.com. Network Service Groups love supporting your BB Badgers. Moneyball Motors and BB is your destination for quality pre-owned vehicles. Whether you have no credit, bad credit, good credit, or even excellent credit, Moneyball Motors has all kinds of financial options for you, with rates starting as low as 3.9%. They offer free appraisal and Carfax history reports on any vehicle, whether you are buying or selling anywhere. Trade-ins are welcomed also at Moneyball Motors, and they offer extended warranties to any customer. You can find Moneyball Motors at 2000 West Center Street in BB or check them out online at moneyballmotors.com or give them a call at 501-232-0414. Can I get a big dill cheeseburger? Grill and the cheeseburger. Adding the pickle fries. Almost done with the dilly ranch. Order up. Sonic big dill cheeseburger. Lisa here has had many jobs. She's worked in retail during the holidays, as a barista during rush hour, 
and a nanny to a couple of rambunctious kids. Now, all that experience has led her to a job that feels like home. With Home Instead, you too can become a caregiver to older adults with a career that makes a difference. Apply today. When you bank with First Security, you're choosing real support for you and for our home state. So friends, families, and fellow Arkansans find better solutions together. It's another way First Security helps Arkansas bank better. And it's why you should call on us today. First Security, bank better. Since 2003, First Trust has been providing exceptional home loan experiences to our customers. We're constantly growing and expanding into other areas throughout Arkansas and many of the southern and midwestern states. We're the largest independent mortgage company based in Arkansas. That means we can provide Sheridan with the best personal care and competitive rates. First Trust Home Loans. Mortgages made easy. Your home is where your memories live, where you laugh, and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof. Tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Burroughs Drug and BB has been in business for nearly 55 years. That's three generations of our family serving the BB community. Burroughs Drug is a full service pharmacy offering services such as convenient drive through curbside pickup, and delivery. Plus, they even offer a complete line of vaccinations and even pet medications. Check out Burroughs Drug at 45 Highway 64 West or give them a call at 501 882 5425. That's Burroughs Drug. We are your hometown pharmacy. Bull Creek Outdoors is your hometown dealer for all of your outdoor equipment needs. We offer rentals for those DIY weekend projects or weekly or monthly contractor terms for those that are in business. Bull Creek Outdoors also is one of the largest dealers in the United States for Spartan and Intimidator products. They offer American-made Spartan zero-turn mowers and Intimidator side-by-sides built locally here in Arkansas with great financing plans available. Bull Creek Outdoors is here to serve the local community and support American-made products. Before you buy, give Bull Creek Outdoors a try. Located right off exit 29 in BB. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. At Big Red Stores, we're always proud to sponsor, support, and partner up with many events and activities throughout the community. Among them, high school championships throughout the state of Arkansas. At Big Red Stores, our team members are always ready to assist you to make your visit with us a pleasant one. And at Big Red Stores, we recognize that none of our support or ability to serve the community is possible without you. That's why, at Big Red Stores, you're always the MVP of the Big Red team. Big Red Stores, now more convenient than ever. My name is Richard Bell. I'm the CEO and president of Bell & Company. Why do people at Bell & Company stay so long? I guess because it's a, a great place to work, it's a great place for opportunity, and it's really a great place for someone who is first generation to succeed, usually maybe being the first in their family to uh, graduate from college, and then also those who are uh, want to be uh, rewarded for their hard work and expertise and uh, what we're all about kind of first generational type uh, success. I'm Richard Bell, I'm the CEO and President of Bell & Company and uh, thank you for uh, watching our video and uh, hope that you will look at us as a firm that you would like to work for going forward as well as uh, maybe being a client. At American Safeguard Insurance, you get an actual human being just down the street to get advice on the confusing world of insurance. There's no need to shop around every time your insurance company tries to rate rates. You can relax and let us do it for you. Having a choice is a big deal, 
And when insurance companies compete, you save money. One of the most important benefits is we actually monitor your premium for rate increases. If we notice a rate increase, we reshop your premium to ensure the best rate. And when the time comes to use your insurance, and we hope it doesn't, you have a friend to help guide you during one of the most stressful times of your life. All your needs under one roof, from vehicle to life insurance, and everything in between. We protect it all. Whether you need insurance for health, life, or business, know that American Safeguard Insurance has the BB community well taken care of. That's because we're committed to bringing you rates that fit your budget and coverage that gives you and your family peace of mind. So if you need fast, personal service from an experienced team that's ready to take care of you, remember that you've got a friend right down the street. American Safeguard Insurance. Call us to get more coverage, more savings, and more service today. Always ready, always there. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Do you have the right financial advisor to help reach your goals? Ameriprise Advisors can create a personalized goal-based plan to help you prepare for whatever life brings so you can feel more confident about your financial future. Call Ameriprise Financial Advisor Bill Hanley or Jeremiah Casiaro with Foresight Financial Advisors, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, at 501-882-6530. That's 501-882-6530. Offices are located at 110 North Main Street in BB. Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Patrick Sinclair in Cabot today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. A Perfect Bloom and BB is your hometown destination for all of your floral needs, gift shopping, clothing, and wedding preparation. You can check out their incredible gourmet food selection, everything from dips, meal mixes, and party accessories. A Perfect Bloom also has all of the trendy fashions like Gypsy Jazz, Con Con, Anna Grace, and so much more. Plus, their gift shop has everything from candles to gift baskets, jewelry, and so much more. Stop by A Perfect Bloom at 407 West DeWin Henry Drive in BB or give them a call at 501 502-2144. Network Services Group is a proud sponsor of BB Badger Athletics. Network Services Group has been serving BB and the Central Arkansas area for over 30 years, and they are here to help with all companies' IT needs. If your company needs security, backups, or even a help desk support for your day-to-day -day business, make sure you check out Network Services Group online at www.nsgdv.com. Network Service Groups love supporting your BB Badgers. Moneyball Motors and BB is your destination for quality pre-owned vehicles. Whether you have no credit, bad credit, good credit, or even excellent credit, Moneyball Motors has all kinds of financial options for you, with rates starting as low as 3.9%. They offer free appraisal and Carfax history reports on any vehicle, whether you are buying or selling anywhere. Trade-ins are welcomed also at Moneyball Motors, and they offer extended warranties to any customer. You can find Moneyball Motors at 2000 West Center Street in BB or check them out online at moneyballmotors.com or give them a call at 501-232-0414. Can I get a big dill cheeseburger? Grill in the cheeseburger. Adding the pickle fries. Almost done with the dilly ranch. Order up. Sonic big dill cheeseburger. Thank you. 
Lisa here has had many jobs. She's worked in retail during the holidays, as a barista during rush hour, and a nanny to a couple of rambunctious kids. Now, all that experience has led her to a job that feels like home. With Home Instead, you too can become a caregiver to older adults with a career that makes a difference. Apply today. When you bank with First Security, you're choosing real support for you and for our home state. So friends, families, and fellow Arkansans find better solutions together. It's another way First Security helps Arkansas bank better. And it's why you should call on us today. First Security, bank better. Since 2003, First Trust has been providing exceptional home loan experiences to our customers. We're constantly growing and expanding into other areas throughout Arkansas and many of the southern and midwestern states. We're the largest independent mortgage company based in Arkansas. That means we can provide Sheridan with the best personal care and competitive rates. First Trust Home Loans. Mortgages made easy. Your home is where your memories live where you laugh, and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there, offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Burroughs Drug and BB has been in business for nearly 55 years. That's three generations of our family serving the BB community. Burroughs Drug is a full service pharmacy offering services such as convenient drive through, curbside pickup, and delivery. Plus, they even offer a complete line of vaccinations and even pet medications. Check out Burroughs Drug at 45 Highway 64 West or give them a call at 501 882 5425. That's Burroughs Drug. We are your hometown pharmacy. Bull Creek Outdoors is your hometown dealer for all of your outdoor equipment needs. We offer rentals for those DIY weekend projects or weekly or monthly contractor terms for those that are in business. Bull Creek Outdoors also is one of the largest dealers in the United States for Spartan and Intimidator products. They offer American-made Spartan zero-turn mowers and Intimidator side-by-sides built locally here in Arkansas with great financing plans available. Bull Creek Outdoors is here to serve the local community and support American-made products. Before you buy, give Bull Creek Outdoors a try. Located right off exit 29 in BB. George, appreciate it. At Big Red Stores, we're always proud to sponsor, support, and partner up with many events and activities throughout the community. Among them, high school championships throughout the state of Arkansas. At Big Red Stores, our team members are always ready to assist you to make your visit with us a pleasant one. And at Big Red Stores, we recognize that none of our support or ability to serve the community is possible without you. That's why, at Big Red Stores, you're always the MVP of the Big Red team. Big Red Stores, now more convenient than ever. My name is Richard Bell. I'm the CEO and president of Bell & Company. Why do people at Bell & Company stay so long? I guess because it's a, a great place to work. It's a great place for opportunity, and it's really a great place for someone who is first generation to succeed, usually maybe being the first in their family to uh, graduate from college, and then also those who are uh, want to be uh, rewarded for their hard work and expertise and uh, what we're all about kind of first generational type uh, success. I'm Richard Bell, I'm the CEO and president of Bell and & Company and uh, thank you for uh, 
watching our video and uh, hope that you will look at us as a firm that you would like to work for going forward as well as uh, maybe as being a client. At American Safeguard Insurance, you get an actual human being just down the street to get advice on the confusing world of insurance. There's no need to shop around every time your insurance company tries to rate rates. You can relax and let us do it for you. Having a choice is a big deal, and when insurance companies compete, you save money. One of the most important benefits is we actually monitor your premium for rate increases. If we notice a rate increase, we reshop your premium to ensure the best rate. And when the time comes to use your insurance, and we hope it doesn't, you have a friend to help guide you during one of the most stressful times of your life. All your needs under one roof, from vehicle to life insurance, and everything in between. We protect it all. Whether you need insurance for health, life, or business, know that American Safeguard Insurance has the BB community well taken care of. That's because we're committed to bringing you rates that fit your budget and coverage that gives you and your family peace of mind. So if you need fast, personal service from an experienced team that's ready to take care of you, remember that you've got a friend right down the street. American Safeguard Insurance. Call us to get more coverage, more savings, and more service today. Always ready, always there. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Do you have the right financial advisor to help reach your goals? Ameriprise Advisors can create a personalized goal-based plan to help you prepare for whatever life brings so you can feel more confident about your financial future. Call Ameriprise Financial Advisor Bill Hanley or Jeremiah Casiaro with Foresight Financial Advisors, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, at 501-882-6530. That's 501-882-6530. Offices are located at 110 North Main Street in BB. Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Patrick Sinclair in Cabot today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. A Perfect Bloom and BB is your hometown destination for all of your floral needs, gift shopping, clothing, and wedding preparation. You can check out their incredible gourmet food selection, everything from dips, meal mixes, and party accessories. A Perfect Bloom also has all of the trendy fashions like Gypsy Jazz, Con Con, Anna Grace, and so much more. Plus, their gift shop has everything from candles to gift baskets, jewelry, and so much more. Stop by A Perfect Bloom at 407 West DeWin Henry Drive in BB or give them a call at 501 501- 882-2144. Network Services Group is a proud sponsor of BB Badger Athletics. Network Services Group has been serving BB and the Central Arkansas area for over 30 years, and they are here to help with all companies' IT needs. If your company needs security, backups, or even a help desk support for your day-to-day business, make sure you check out Network Services Group online at www.nsgdv.com. Network Service Groups love supporting your BB Badgers. Moneyball Motors and BB is your destination for quality pre-owned vehicles. Whether you have no credit, bad credit, good credit, or even excellent credit, Moneyball Motors has all kinds of financial options for you, with rates starting as low as 3.9%. They offer free appraisal and Carfax history reports on any vehicle, whether you are buying or selling anywhere. Trade-ins are welcomed also at Moneyball Motors, and they offer extended warranties to any customer. You can find Moneyball Motors at 2000 West Center Street in BB or check them out online at moneyballmotors.com or give them a call 
at 501-232-0414. Can I get a big dill cheeseburger? Grill in the cheeseburger. Add in the pickle fries. Almost done with the dilly ranch. Order up. Sonic Big Dill Cheeseburger. Lisa here has had many jobs. She's worked in retail during the holidays, as a barista during rush hour, and a nanny to a couple of rambunctious kids. Now, all that experience has led her to a job that feels like home. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some Badger football. It's some scrimmage football here on the Badger Sports Network. Matt Jenkins joining you here. Going solo tonight here for some scrimmage action. Going against the Heber Springs Panthers. Now, this scrimmage will be just a little bit different than what you've seen for uh, other scrimmages. We'll be going in sessions. Uh, the first session, what you're fixing to see on your screen right now, uh, the first session will be 10 to 12 uh, reps per segment. So we're going to see the ones, twos, and threes for both the Heber Springs Panthers and your BB Badgers. But right now, it is... The Heber offense going against the BB1s, the starting defense for BB, and we already have a high snap going way back to the 20, see where they mark it. Oh. That ball probably would have been marked at the 20-yard line. So what you're seeing right now, the ball will be brought back to the 40-yard line every play. So it doesn't matter if uh, Heber gets a big 10 or 15-yard gain, they'll always be brought back here to the 40-yard uh, line. So just some, just some good scrimmage action today, getting some guys some reps, getting them ready for next Friday night when the Badgers open up against Jacksonville here inside Burrowin Stadium. Shotgun snap going to be a handoff up the middle for Heber. Brought down by number 64 for BB. That was Tyler Russell making the tackle for about a two-yard gain or so. Parker Brown on the carry for Heber Springs, and that ball will be marked back at the 40-yard line. It's a very veteran-laden team here for the Badgers this week or this year. A lot of senior leadership on this team, returning All-State quarterback Zach Grant. And we'll see him here just in a little while. He'll be sitting on the sideline for now. As BB will be on defense here for the next few next few plays or so. Handoff again up the middle to Parker. Brought down by three or four different Badgers. Number 26 was in on the tackle. That was Jackson Marsh. There's a couple other Badgers in there as well. Ball will be back at the 40-yard line. Right now, this is the Heber Springs starting offense, the ones going against the BB starting defense, the ones of BB's defense. After about 10 to 12 plays, it's going to change over to the Heber Springs offense. The twos going against the BB Badger twos, the backups on the defensive end. Shotgun snap looking to pass, almost brought down in the backfield, going to throw it back across his body. That's going to be complete to number four, Easton Kusick. Got a couple more subs coming in here on both sides. BB going to have about three or four men come out and replace them. Ball back at the 40-yard line. And just a gorgeous afternoon here inside Bro Irwin Stadium. For some BB Badger football. And like I said, this is a scrimmage. and We're trying out some new things here on the Badger Sports Network side of things. We've got some new cameras that we're trying out for you guys, new audio equipment. And it's a it's an exciting time to be here in Badger Nation. And we had some a lot of issues last year. We got a false start on the field right now against Heber Springs. No penalties here for this, at least for this first session. Um, and that'll kind of take place here after the after the session is concluded. 
about halfway through this first segment of the Heber starting offense versus the BB defense. Fumbled snap brought way back in the backfield, brought down at about the 26-yard line. That's the second time that that snap has been high. And I believe if I'm reading the ref's hands right, that is the seventh play of what's listed on here for being 10 or 10 to 12 plays or 10 to 12 reps to be exact. And as they get going back here, shotgun set, two wide receivers on each side. For Heber drops back to pass the lefty, sacked in the backfield, brought down by number 18, Ryan Summers. Got that first line of contact. About a eight-yard loss on the play, and this BB defense coming to play so far. They gave up one pretty decent-sized pass that would result in about a 10- or 15-yard gain. Other than that, it's been all BB defense here recently. And it's a deep BB team as you look down there on that sideline. I don't know if you can catch that on our stream right now. It is a deep BB team this year in the all-new 5A Central, or I, I shouldn't say all-new because BB was in that 5A Central Conference last year, but a completely new realignment. We'll touch on that here in a second. Pass is incomplete. I believe that was intended for number 27, Parker Brown. Yep, intended for Parker Brown, incomplete. Now that should be play 10 of 12, I believe. We'll see if the ref will... Flash up some numbers here in a second. That was play 10, and here we go. So this, there should be about two more plays here in this segment. Little to no gain, about maybe even a one-yard gain on the play. And it looks like Keeper's going to line up for one final play here of this first segment. We'll touch on the schedule here in just in a second, as I alluded to with the realigned 5A Central Conference. Snap going to be a handoff. Fumble on the play, and looks like Heber's going to come up with it. Parker Brown on the recovery. And that should do it for the first segment of the first session. So we're going to do some changes here of the grouping. And this next segment will be the Heber Springs uh, backup offense, the twos taking on the BB defense, the backups, and the twos and threes. Again, it will be on the 40-yard line for every play, uh, regardless of the, of, the, uh, of the yardage gained on the play. Well, hang on, folks. I may have misspoken. It looks like. No, they're okay. I think Heber got – yeah, so, okay. I was right. It looked like Heber was lining up on defense, but <clears throat> they've made the switch and they're putting the offense back on the field. But I mentioned that new conference. BB still in the 5A Central, but it is a completely realigned new conference that BB gets to do this year. And there will be some new teams. As we mentioned. Obviously, Heber taking on here in the scrimmage game tonight. Next Friday night, right here at Wooten Field at Brower and Stadium will be the Jacksonville Titans a former a conference opponent, now no longer conference. There'll be a non-conference game here inside Brower and Stadium. The following week, September 2nd, going to travel to Newport in a non-conference game. And the final non-conference game of the season will be against Little Rock Mills coming here September 9th at Brower and Stadium. And then your new conference slate starts. Some familiar names, one very familiar name that the you fans will be very excited about. Uh, the first, uh, Whitehall, Moralton, Pine Bluff, the Zebras are in the new 5A Central Conference. Joe T. Robinson, Watson Chapel, excuse me, Watson Chapel. Mal Mel will be senior night on November 4th. And that one game that I think every Badger fan is going to have circled on their calendar, October 7th, homecoming against the Valonia Eagles. Oh, my goodness. Valonia back in the conference. So, you know, 
that atmosphere that night is going to be jacked up, ready to rock and roll here inside Broward Stadium. More on that throughout the season as we go. We got the task at hand here taking on the Heber Springs Panthers in scrimmage action. So this is the Heber Springs backup offense taking on the backup Badger defense. And this is why you want to have these scrimmage these uh, these scrimmage games like this right here because just where you can get reps for guys that may not get a whole lot of reps in actual game action, but also just to to see what you want. I mean, you may get you may find a diamond in the rough here to be in your starting rotation. You never know. It just yeah, you, know, you never know what may happen. Shotgun snap, four wide receivers. There's the lefty throwing another pass just behind the intended receiver, but the pass will fall incomplete. Couldn't tell who was on the defensive that it looked like it was number 11, Maverick Walker, on the coverage there on the slant route. Looks like he were going to go zero in the backfield, five wide receivers, three near side, two on the top side of your screen on the far side of the field. The shotgun snap, another fumbled snap. BB almost had him in the backfield, escapes, but is brought down by a duo of Badgers at about the 46-yard line. And good pursuit there. Another fumbled snap. That'll be something that the Panthers – are definitely going to want to work on heading into their opening matchup next Friday night. Well, here we go here. Another five wide set. Maybe in a Maybe a 4-4-2 defense, four down linemen and a couple linebackers. Quarterback draw all the way. Tattooed at about the 47-yard line. That's a 13-yard gain. Well, he earned all 13 of that. He got lit up at about the 48-yard line and nose dove in for about a couple more. Another four wide set. Now we got the uh, running back in the backfield. Three near side right on the bottom part of your screen. And here comes the snap. A low snap again. Hands off up the middle. And that'll be about a three or four yard gain before being knocked back. I believe that was Gideon Tate uh, for Heber Springs on the carry. Heber Springs is getting their marching orders from their coach on the sideline. Head coach Todd Wood, OC and receivers coach. So he'll be barking, he'll be talking all, all or barking out the plays for everybody, getting the signals out there. And both teams will definitely go into no huddle once we get into the latter part of this scrimmage. Escapes again, has a lot of running room, gets to about the 49 50 yard line before being knocked out of bounds. That was number four on the carry. That was Easton Kusick on the quarterback keeper. Scampered out there for about a 10-yard gain. So we should be getting close to the conclusion of this session, or excuse me, this segment. Probably about one or two more plays here in this quarter. High snap. They're going to get it out to the outside. Looking for the screen, and it was incomplete. And that will do it for the second segment, I believe. Nope, nope, no more. We got one more, probably one or two more plays here of this segment. 
And then we'll get things rolling here for the third of four segments here in this first session. And I probably should have made a phone call about probably 35 minutes ago to my broadcast partner who I haven't been able to be on the microphone with here for past, about the past few months. Patrick Sinclair back on the broadcast here with us. I don't think I'm on. Oh, there you go. How about now? There we go. Now, you did that on purpose. So I wouldn't show. I, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I see that. Well, it turned out to be an uh, – there's originally was a 7 p.m. start, but the junior high scrimmage went really quick. And well, then I they started this at, thing at 6:30. I fussed at Ryan Marshall on the way up here. Why don't we do this tomorrow night? The high 71 or something yeah, like that. It was toasty today. Not as toasty as it was on Monday. Monday was just a Dude, sauna. Tomorrow is going to put us in football mode, man. You I, ain't kidding. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to come watch these Bajers play ball. Still got the Heber Springs backup versus the BB backup offense and defense right now. There's a handoff up the middle. Gets to about the 45. Tattooed at about the 45-yard line. Believe that was number 14 on the tackle. <coughs> Sam Moore. And gets the play there. And Patrick, I mentioned a moment ago, it was just like how much of a benefit. Like these scrimmage games are not only for just like you can run the plays and kind of see how things work, but getting every one of these boys on that sideline some reps. Yeah, but it's valuable practice. Absolutely. Um, to to the coaches, this is more of work than a competition. You, but you want to test what you got. Put the uniforms on. You're on the game field. You're not on the practice field. And you, you're practicing because, you know, it's coming. Next Friday, we get the, it feels like summer. We felt like we just ended. We had the state tournament game that we did up in Hot Springs. And, heck, I mean, that was three months ago. And it sure doesn't feel like it's been three months already. Get ready for football season. But. We're back in session. Shotgun snap coming. Four wide receivers. Low snap again. Looking, looking, looking is Kuznick. And brought down in the backfield by Trio Badgers. Ball is loose. I think they're going to call him down before the fumble. but and That'll bring the ball back to the 40-yard line, Patrick. That's the thing. So you got right here in front of you. We're uptown now. I printed you a scrimmage sheet on cardstock. Look at this. Man. I feel like I'm with the Patriots. And I hopefully, knock on wood, all the issues that we had during football season last year with the internet and things like that, our great IT department here at the school has got us hooked up this year. So this it should be – It was a struggle at the beginning, but then as you got those worked out, you know, of course I'm looking at new equipment. Well, we, we got brand new audio board. You can actually hear out of both ears now. <laughs> We're not having to do like the whole one ear thing. Well, the reason I said that is because it's crystal clear. Yeah, yeah. There's no – there's no fuzziness to it. Well, we've got a lot of big things planned here this year. We've talked about maybe adding in a Badger Talk podcast. There's some coaches interviews and player interviews. We got some we got some big ideas this year, and I got all my kids back this year. Uh, Madison taking care of the streaming and commercials that you've been seeing here on the Badger Sports Network for this one. But Well, yeah. refresh my memory, yeah. and we may not need to talk about this on the air. Um, how many hits – did the broadcast close get to, last? Close to 200,000. Close to 200,000 views. So all you guys out there watching, y'all are responsible for that. Close to 200,000 views last year That's alone. That's football and basketball. Football, basketball, baseball. The every, spring sports. Every, so that was everything. everything. That was everything. And that was a year full of, new, I mean, obviously new. So we had a lot of kinks to work out. But once we got the kinks worked out, I mean, we were rocking and rolling this year. And I know me and you talked off air several times and how many times we got messages from people watching in – uh, like Spain and outside of the country. I mean, obviously outside of the States to grandparents that can't make it. Well, just what about homebound people? Exactly. I mean, they may be down the street a half a mile, but you, they can't get out. Yep. I've had multiple texts today like, hey, are you streaming this one? So make sure you tell everybody. I mean, there ain't going to be a ball game that we won't stream because we, we're here to provide this content for you guys and this we need year. And we need to post them on Friday mornings. Absolutely. And then share them. Like, whatever you do, I share, and then uh -huh. I'll go out and make my own posts and – I mean, I'm here to tell you, BB Badger football is exciting. It's going to be an exciting year. And right now on the screen, as you can see, we got the BB starting offense. Zach Grant, the All-State quarterback, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, the BB starting offense going against the Heber Springs defense. So if you're just tuning in, we're in a scrimmage format for this, what we'll call the first half of this one. Uh, we're in segment three of four before we conclude this first segment, or this first session, I should say. Every play, doesn't matter if it's a 10-yard gain, 20, or a loss, the play will be brought back to the 40 every time. Hand off to Skylar Richardson up the middle, and that will be brought back in the backfield for about a one- or two-yard loss. Yeah, Zach's pretty easy to spot. I'd love to have that much <laughs> hair, man. Oh, that kid's got a mullet. 
Oh, he sure didn't get it from his daddy. I don't know where the oh. Mm. Yeah, don't bring him into it. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's. I mean, I don't want to say it's an easier schedule. It's a different schedule. Yes. We lost some of the key opponents that we had last year. Different conference alignment. Don't want to say the word easy. Ain't nothing easy about 5A football. No, and you trade it up. I mean, yes, so. It's different, and it's, it's more competitive. Yeah. I mean, it's. There's a competitive balance in this conference that has been lacking for the past, what, three, four years, however long this conference has been. Pulaski Academy and Little Rock Christian moving up to 6A. Got a delay of game against BB. But those moving up, and then you add in defending 4A state champ Joe T. Robinson moving up to the 5A conference. You add in new faces that we'll get to make Bologna. road trips to. Bologna's back in here. That's going to be a That's raucous a brawl. atmosphere. That's a brawl. Uh, Joe T. Watson Chapel will go to Watson this year. Ma Mel was an already a conference opponent. They're back in here this year. But some of those new faces, uh, the Pine Bluff Zebras. So we'll, right. make, we'll make the trip down to Pine Bluff in September 30th. So they dropped down in class? I think they did. They were 6A. Yep, they were 6A. So they came down to 5. But you're right. I think it's a, it's a competitive balance this year that you haven't seen. So It's different. You know, you know it's, it's not as strenuous. And for a senior Latin team like this team is right here, you got a lot of returning talent. You got some new faces, some transfers that came in from other schools. This is a talented BB offense that has a lot of athleticism. And I think the key that I know Coach Gunner and Coach Alexander, the offensive line coach down there also, if this offensive line can protect, and as of so far it's been kind of um, not been a free will, but just kind of like they've, they've, they found holes has Heber on the defensive side. If this offensive line can protect Zach, there's a lot of athleticism that's surrounding him that he can just pick a defense apart. But it starts on that defense on the offensive line. Well, Peanut coming back and Zach – a uh, couple linemen, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be really good in some key positions. I think. Got a got a lot of new, a lot of young talent. Jaden Smith's gonna have a career year. Yeah, Jaden Smith is gonna because he did so well last year. I didn't realize he had thirty five catches last year. Yeah. A little bit of a toss play here from Zach Grant to Peanut, broken tackle, and we got a flag on the play, brought down in the backfield. Actually, excuse me, that was not Peanut. That was Keandre well, Barker. I was going to ask you, did he change numbers? Yeah, he changed. <laughs> well, well, no, is he, is he 15? He's still 15, right? Yes. Yeah, yep, he was 15, 15 last that was, year. Yeah, that was Keandre Barker on the carry. Going to be, I think that was a block in the back, going to go against BB, but obviously no penalties. Ball stay here at the 40. Well, again, I'm just glad that they let me be a part of it. Coach Gunner has invited me to several functions, as have you. Uh, Ryan Marshall lets me participate. You know, community support is big, and I mean that message should go to anybody yeah. who's listening to this broadcast, man. If you got some time or maybe a little bit extra money, get involved with this program, man. Do something for these kids. There's, Cook for them, and yeah, there's always there's something to do, and for everybody. I, I mean, then that's the same thing for every other team. I mean, there's always a need. Mason Harbin now in a quarterback as we switch down to the BB offensive two backups versus the Hebert offensive backups. Brought down for about a five-yard loss was Mason Harbin. Well, Garrison Walter just took his guy. Garrison's over here at left tackle. He just pile drove his defender at about the 31-yard line. I had you. Uh, there oh, you there go. it is. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I set you out of well, I didn't. I didn't flip up at that top page. I've been telling the kids all day. It was just like, obviously, we're going to stream. We're going to make it look good, but like. This is the game where we can not, like we can afford some mess ups today. Just get all the kinks worked out. Make sure we're screwed tight and ready to rock and roll. Pass is complete to about the forty six yard line. Man, this Mason Harbin, look at this kid. He's a big old kid, big old boy. Yeah, I mean he's what six six one six two. He's probably one hundred and eighty five. On a good day, he's wearing the number three this year. And we don't have heights and weights yet. I'm sure that'll man. Look come at him though. He's, he's a big kid. Yeah, looks like a big tight end out there. Just ran that little little quick slant over there to the to the left receiver. Part of that talented junior high squad that we saw last year, and it's they're all those young freshmen are now moved up here. And you, obviously, we got a senior Latin team, like I mentioned, but there's a lot of youth on this team as well that can pay off here once these guys get reps. I mean, and this is what you want. You want reps here, Harbin. Dropping back, we're just going to throw it out, way out of bounds. Yeah, but, boy, we just lost a couple that, boy, that's just, you know, it's going to hurt. Well, one name for you to keep an eye on, Badger Nation, out there. Obviously, we talked a lot about the talent of Adrian Caronco last year. I mean, dude is just a human highlight reel. 
Okoye Earl, transfer out of Riverview, came in late after football, well after football season ended last year. That'll be the name to watch. He's athletic like Adrian, and he's got that he's got that giddy up in his step as well. Same so, number, same number too. So we don't, yeah, we know what he's got to live up to. Brody well, Benton Caronco, checking in as well. Caronco just went nuts. He did the last few big games of the football season. Then when basketball season started, my gosh, that guy just lost his mind in that court. Mm-hmm. Then on the track, he got the athlete of the year. Something that since uh, I mean, Tony Lockhart won that award, and that was the first one since him. And the I dude mean, is that just means a stud. That he won the decathlon. Uh huh. That means he's the best athlete in the state. And set two or three state records with his triple jump and a couple of other different events that I'm blanking on right off the top of my head. But yeah, it's, it's an athlete you don't replace, but you replace it by committee. Won the 800, didn't he? I think that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. One of them was the 800. So he's at UCA. Uh, do you, is he dressing out? Are they practicing football? I haven't kept up uh, with him. Full track scholarship, and I believe he's walking on. The last I spoke to him was walking on well, with the be, football team. They should be practicing now. They I guarantee be. you, Coach Campbell, gonna um, not Campbell. What's uh, Nathan Brown? Nathan Brown. Yeah, God, Brown. He's gonna. Um, He's going to see him, and he's going to go, I want that kid on my team, Absolutely. Man. You, you, there's always a room on a team for those athletes. Quarterback draw up the middle was about good for maybe a one- or two-yard game, but it'll be brought back here to the 40. This will be the final session, or the final segment of this first session, and then we'll have about a seven-minute, we'll call it halftime. All right, they, they have it listed here as a water-up, and then we're going to have two regular varsity quarters. So to kind of simulate some more game action and get that. So that'll be a little bit more traditional stuff that you'll be used to seeing here on the Badger Sports Network. Fumbled snap, looking for the handoff. A little bit of miscommunication. Harbin got the recovery on it. Was trying to find number 14. That was Sam Moore on the – was trying to do the handoff, but unsuccessful. Well, I know Coach Gunner's excited. Of course, right now, this is, this is what those high school football coaches live for. Absolutely. This is their favorite time of the year. Get it, get it started and see what you got, you know. All that off-season ball. Now, I mean, and it's got to be good for these players, Patrick. I mean, you've been going just against your same guy all every morning and now they're practicing in the afternoon now the school's back in session. But it's got to be better now that you're seeing someone else on the opposite side that you're hitting. Harbin on the play action or the quarterback draw, he'll take it all the way to about the 43-yard line. Flag on the play. That's probably going to gonna go against BB for a hold. That's what it'll be, but. I look like a, a wishbone play, man. Running backs cross in front of the, the quarterback, and he faked the handoff, and mm-hmm. then he kept it himself over to the left side. Well, that'll do it for the first session here of this varsity scrimmage. We're going to put seven minutes on the clock, and we'll have a seven-minute, we'll call it water up, so take a break for a little bit. And when we come back here on the Badger Sports Network, it will be time for – Actual game action. We'll have two full varsity quarters. Well, I say we're – do we call a timeout? Is that what I missed? The referees are all meeting together. The Heaper coach is not anywhere near his team. I don't know what they're doing. Heaper defense is on the field with – we don't know what we're doing up here half the time either, don't we? Uh, Clock is showing seven minutes, but it – doesn't really have a – just says first quarter, so. I guess while we're waiting on – while we're waiting to figure out what's going to happen here, uh, we'll just stay here for right now. Um, I can't believe we made it this long and we haven't even brought up the Tomahawk steaks yet. Ooh. <laughs> I'm hungry, man. Don't bring that up. Uh, <laughs> man, so what that's referencing is, is I was able to cook lunch for all the coaches on their last day of – yeah, it was a what co- does PD stand for? Professional Development. Oh, okay. They, I, so basically a glorified coaches meeting, just kind of getting everything back under, getting all the coaches, all the new coaches in tow. I cooked a big lunch. All of a sudden, that room got real, real quiet. You couldn't hear nothing <laughs> couldn't with hear all me. the people yeah. chomping down on some groceries. Pass complete to number 21 of BB. That was Josue Fabella. Powers forward to about the 50-yard line. And, boy, you want to see that out of your receiver catching that ball there. Was about a five-yard gain and powered it up for five more. Got it down to about the 50-yard line. Where did Jaffet go to college? believe it was – I think if he did, I think it was a soccer scholarship, but I'm not 100%. Is he going to play football where he went? I think he'll play soccer. Where, where did he go? I can't remember the call right off the top of my head. Let me find that out. That kid came in and 
Did he did he miss anything last year? I don't think he, he did. Didn't if miss he did, any extra points. If, if he did, it was, I don't think he missed any extra points. If he did miss one, it was one of those longer, uh, longer field goal attempts. I don't I don't think he missed any. I know he didn't miss any extra points. Where did uh, Brooks Nell end up going? Brooks Nell is at the University of Arkansas, just going as a student. I don't think we're playing. He's playing ball anymore. Now that kid, you know. His size is what his his deficiency was, but boy, his heart made up for it in his quickness. Absolutely, boy, he could run that point guard. Oh boy, quarterback just took a hard hit. Ball is loose. It's going to be picked up. And they're going to let him advance it. Yeah, so they're just going to blow it dead. But if that was in live game, that's a touchdown all the way for Heber. And there was a miscommunication. Harbin at quarterback thought the running back was going one way, and he pops up going another direction. And we'll see Harbin out of the ball game now. I'm trying to figure out how they came up with the Hebrew roster. It's not alphabetical order. It's not in numerical order. I think it's going by grade. Oh, by the grade. Duh. Okay. Better be on you. <laughs> Better be able to read to get that one. Yeah. That's going to mess me up a little bit. Caleb Hawk, now the quarterback for BB, going to get a few more reps here before the conclusion of this session. Well, coach is going to try to give as many reps as he can. You know, again, see who's progressing, who needs work. He's got to he's got to figure in if somebody goes down, who's going to be the backup. Exactly. He's got to be prepared for that. And we know Coach Gunner is going to be prepared for every scenario that you can almost possibly think of. We talked about that last year. He's five plays ahead of the other coach. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just he's a mile ahead of you. Shotgun snap, two receivers up top. Going to fake the handoff, Hawk. Looking for a man downfield, going to juke He's past got one him defender. Wide open. He's got the corner route wide open. He's going to lower his shoulder and get about a 15-yard gain on the run. Yeah, you're right. He had him open, but lowered his shoulder and got the easy 15 rather than trying to risk it. So they bring it to the original. They bring it back to the original line of scrimmage every play. Every play during this first session, and then once we get into the uh, later on in the two varsity quarters, then it'll be as normal as we've seen it with the chain gang and everybody else down there. So stupid question: Are they are they back in class yet? Yes, we are back in class. When uh, that was this week? I uh, started Monday. Okay. We started started early this year. The state allowed a passed a, a bill or some sort of law, or well, not maybe not a law, but a declaration or whatever the proper term is that schools could start early. And it results, I think we can have a little bit of a longer Christmas break. We end the year a little bit earlier than everybody. So, uh, yeah, we're in our second day of full class this year. I couldn't stand missing when I was in high school. I couldn't stand missing. I never missed anything. Yeah. Everybody's been kind of just getting back in the groove of things and made for a quick turnaround here just with starting Monday and then we had the, <laughs> got the couple, scrimmage tonight. That was a couple of days. They couldn't find me, Matt. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't miss. I left. <laughs> a couple look like there's some late subs coming in here for BB, some of these backups and – what, 76, Devin Ellard. Man, he looks Made like a, a artillery bunker out there. Big old boy. Shotgun snap again, going to hand it off. And they got some wheels there. I believe that's number 24. Uh, no, excuse me, that was 29. I'm sorry. Chanced him white on the carry. About a five-yard gain. And he had some wheels going on him there for a second there, Patrick. Back to the 40-yard line. and Chanced him white, yeah. Pretty impressed with that run right there. He had a little burst of speed once he got out here by the number. It looks like they're they're spread more than they were last year. A lot of – and I think that's where you'll see there's a, another handoff. I'll touch on that here in a second. Rumbles ahead for about a five-yard gain, about three Panthers there to bring him down. That was number seven, I believe. Yep, that was number seven on the run. That was Jackson Edwards. But you're – I mean, how many times last year did we talk about that middle of the field being always open, whether it's for um, – Jaden or any or Logan Stevens or Caleb Perkins or any part of that team last year, middle of the field's always going to be open. And you know Zach well, will get it have, there, but you got to have a receiver that's not scared to probably take a licking. But you're going to find your hard earned hard earned yards there. You can you can have a you can favor your running game even if you're in the spread formation. Exactly, yeah. But I I'm seeing a lot of splits here. Pass throw there. Yeah, that was a good great throw. 
on target, just un- unable to make the catch was Cole Dismain. But yeah, that was a was a good looking throw, good stroke on it. But that's a lefty, and with that half stripe on a ball from a lefty, has a lot different rotation. Is that hard to get used to when you're very hard? Like I was a wide receiver. Yeah, and when you're like if you're used to Zach Grant throwing you the football, I mean your typical right-handed quarterback. All the quarterbacks that went on, on my college team were right-handed except one guy named Jordan Stanley. Uh-huh. Sulphur Springs, Texas. He was also a pitcher on the baseball team. Well, he threw that football as hard as he did that baseball, and with that opposite rotation, you better get used to it. You're going to lose a couple of teeth. I mean, he threw it, and he threw it with authority, and it was your job to catch it. It was his job to throw it. Well, it's almost what you got to do. I mean, in that situation, he hey, put a good throw on it, but – with two receivers there, and you got a tight window that you're throwing that thing into. Got to make that catch. Got to make the catch, and it's, he made the throw. It's very – well, quoting my coach, it's very rarely the quarterback's fault. Right. I mean, if you get there and get a hand on it, you should catch it. Sacrifice your body. Do what you got to do. You're controlling where you're running. He can't control where you're running. Play action going to – well, he evaded trouble. He, that could have been a big loss, but he instead turns it into about a three-yard gain. And Caleb Hawk looking good, getting some good reps in here. Yeah, sophomore. I believe I saw this near official, the white hat down here, signal two more plays remaining. And that will move us into the halftime portion of this, and then when we come back we'll have actual game action. Well, yeah, me and you, we, we got a stream that's working. We got internet working. Me and you, we got, we got more space up here now. Well, there's a new we thing. Kicked, we kicked Madison out. Madison's sitting next door to us, so I don't have to. Oh, she's got, I forgot she has headphones on now, so she can actually hear what I'm saying now. She's looking at you like. <laughs> <laughs> and now, we need to get a new, like a little booster club going, and that's, you know, people that can bring us food during the game. Ooh. You know? Yeah. Get a little group of volunteers, uh-huh. you know. Just keep us fed during the ball game. Just kind of meet us out here behind the fence or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And you got you ain't got to pay a ticket to get in. <laughs> as long as they feed me and you tomahawk steaks, like I'm, I'm, we're golden with that. Coach Gunner down here at the 35-yard line. I think we're getting some marching orders here. Well, we don't brag enough on Coach Gunner. I mean – being the head coach, man, you got a lot of eyes on you. Absolutely. I mean, the play in time, the organization, uh, oh, yeah, you got to kind of know football, too. Absolutely. And he's just he just does everything right. He considers everybody. He's organized. Uh, man, the time that he spends getting everything together is just real impressive. Well, we're in our seven-minute um, – that's what we see here, a water break, so we'll just call it a halftime – players getting hydrated ready to rock and roll because it's one of those hot august days that i mean these guys are a whole lot better shape than me and you are 85 <laughs> percent of the people out there are in better shape than yeah, me yeah exactly i want one of those badger shirts man look at the, what those coaches got on man that is cool got oh, the that's, red yep, uh, that's nice. one of those new ones that's coming this year i think well let's take a break here for a moment we've got about six minutes and 11 seconds here on the Badger Sports Network, and we'll just we're going to be back here in about five minutes or so, and we'll come back and we'll actually have full game action for you coming up here on the Badger Sports Network. We're back here in just a little bit. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Patrick Sinclair in Cabot today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 
A Perfect Bloom and BB is your hometown destination for all of your floral needs, gift shopping, clothing, and wedding preparation. You can check out their incredible gourmet food selection, everything from dips, meal mixes, and party accessories. A Perfect Bloom also has all of the trendy fashions like Gypsy Jazz, Con Con, Anna Grace, and so much more. Plus, their gift shop has everything from candles to gift baskets, jewelry, and so much more. Stop by A Perfect Bloom at 407 West DeWin Henry Drive in BB or give them a call at 501 502-2144. Network Services Group is a proud sponsor of BB Badger Athletics. Network Services Group has been serving BB and the Central Arkansas area for over 30 years, and they are here to help with all companies' IT needs. If your company needs security, backups, or even a help desk support for your day-to-day -day business, make sure you check out Network Services Group online at www.nsgdv.com. Network Service Groups love supporting your BB Badgers. Moneyball Motors and BB is your destination for quality pre-owned vehicles. Whether you have no credit, bad credit, good credit, or even excellent credit, Moneyball Motors has all kinds of financial options for you, with rates starting as low as 3.9%. They offer free appraisal and Carfax history reports on any vehicle, whether you are buying or selling anywhere. Trade-ins are welcomed also at Moneyball Motors, and they offer extended warranties to any customer. You can find Moneyball Motors at 2000 West Center Street in BB or check them out online at moneyballmotors.com or give them a call at 501-232-0414. Can I get a big dill cheeseburger? Grill and the cheeseburger. Adding the pickle fries. Almost done with the dilly ranch. Order up. Sonic big dill cheeseburger. Lisa here has had many jobs. She's worked in retail during the holidays, as a barista during rush hour, and a nanny to a couple of rambunctious kids. Now, all that experience has led her to a job that feels like home. With Home Instead, you too can become a caregiver to older adults with a career that makes a difference. Apply today. When you bank with First Security, you're choosing real support for you and for our home state. So friends, families, and fellow Arkansans find better solutions together. It's another way First Security helps Arkansas bank better. And it's why you should call on us today. First Security, bank better. Since 2003, First Trust has been providing exceptional home loan experiences to our customers. We're constantly growing and expanding into other areas throughout Arkansas and many of the southern and midwestern states. We're the largest independent mortgage company based in Arkansas. That means we can provide Sheridan with the best personal care and competitive rates. First Trust Home Loans. Mortgages made easy. Your home is where your memories live where you laugh, and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there, offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Burroughs Drug and BB has been in business for nearly 50 years. Back here on the Badger Sports Network, Matt Jenkins, Patrick Sinclair, and now you're starting to see actual Badger football. The scrimmage portion, well, we're still in a scrimmage, but the, the staged portion is over. Now we're fixing to see full varsity action, 12-minute quarters, running clock, or the, well, it looks like we're going to have a 20-minute. Just one half or 20 minutes? Probably two 20-minute halves, I had to bet, and probably a running I, clock. I bet one, yeah. 
Now, this is Andy Rodriguez. Is he any relation? I'm sure he is. Kickoff is going to stay inbounds. Good, good, good roll there. Great kick. It's picked up by number 27. That's Parker Brown, 5'11", 161, tailback. So the Heber Springs Panthers. Heber Springs Panthers are going to take over. Got the ball on the – they're going to put them at about the nine-and-a-half-yard line. And, folks, forgive me. I'm not familiar whatsoever with Heber Springs. I know they got a nice lake up there, and that's all I know. But <laughs> that's lake. That's all I know. Of. And they got a good barbecue joint up there. Got to throw that What's in there. What's the barbecue there. joint? Oh, right there to the right there by Sugarloaf. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Nah, that stuff is some good groceries. All right, so the quarterback is going to be number nine. He, his name is going to be Xander Lindley, uh, six-foot, 165-pound junior. He's going to take the snap. He's going to throw a quick slant over to the left. It's going to be incomplete. He's trying to get number 18, who is Dalton Yancey. Again, forgive me, folks. I don't know the names. Quick well, it doesn't, help, doesn't help that the roster that Heber sent us was not numerically ordered. You need to get on – Spreadsheet, exit, whatever I'll, that's I'll, something. I'll, 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 I'll have do you, something about that. I'll, I'll have you fixed up next week. <laughs> I'm not smart enough <laughs> to figure that out, man. But the pass was thrown low, and there was a couple badges there, and that pass was just a tad bit higher. That could have been an interception the whole way. BB in their four three defense here. Got that four three, but they got that they got the uh, nickelback coming up. That's nickelback is uh, Jaden Smith, who man, how many times have we called him last year making those catch catches over there in that corner route? And the thing about Jaden is his moves that he made mm-hmm. after he caught it. I mean, yep. he, he ran like a tailback after he caught it. So, yeah, the clock is running. It's not going to stop. Third and nine from about the 15 or 16-yard line. Yeah, Heber Springs is really taking their time. Again, this is work. This is practice. This is not a game. This is – I mean, it doesn't mean anything who wins or loses. No stats are kept. They're looking at technique. All right, so he's going to roll out to the left, and he's looking for – I don't know who he was throwing to. There's nobody over there. Looked like it was intended for number 18, but it was way yeah, it was overthrown. 15 yards over yeah. his head. So that quarterback, Xander Lindley, struggling struggling with his passes so far. They're going to line up to punt. And the punt's going to be Parker Brown. We mentioned his name a while ago on the on the kickoff return. Well, we have we're in punt return, but they're going to run a play here. Now here they go. Yeah, they just a little little bit of a trickery there. Here's the punt, and everybody just stood up. They're not even going to attempt to do anything. Well, gonna, I believe that. I think there are no special teams will be ran. So they just lined up just to get used just, to lining up in that formation. Yeah, exactly. Either that or the fair catch was called as soon as it was there. But Dagan West was our was our return guy. Is it Dagan? Dagan, yep. Okay. I know we called his name a lot last year. but And you'll continue to call it this year. And it is one of those, I think, 14 or 15 seniors on this team this year. And we got them together about late July and had a cool video shoot for him in the in the field house when it was about 199 degrees. Well, y'all did a lot of work. That, I saw all those stuff on Facebook, man. That's like professionals. Y'all had that smoke and all that. I don't know how y'all do all that stuff, man. I don't know how I pulled it off either because I was sitting in a chair most of the time getting it filmed, and I stood up, and I was, whoa, every, but the knees are getting weak. Zach Grant, All-State quarterback returning. Boy, they just he has such huge expectations put on him. He is going to be expect, well, we, expecting the snap, and the center, who is Mikey Hundley, didn't snap it. So it's going to be all sides on the center. They're going to back him up 10, 5 yards. Got some, got some hot feet down there just kind of. Anxious and like you said, I mean, no stats are being kept, and you're kind of running through. You get all these penalties out of your system this year. Get all the false starts and make sure you're ready to rock and roll come well, next Friday. He's got one of those big covers that they put over their helmets for Keep. safety reasons. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they called that thing, but it's also covering up his ear holes. He may not can hear. Here's Zach. Zach's going to back up. He's looking. Man, he's looking deep. His first play. He's got a guy wide open. Ooh-wee. Man, just a little right up the seam. Fantastic route, and that's going to be the new a, guy. That was a Koye. A Koye Earl. Man, this kid can run. That's, Man, what a play. Did a lot to you? I mean, how can you place Adrian? You can replace Adrian him with a Koye. Who? What was his exactly. name again? I've already yeah. forgotten his name. Exactly. A Koye is <laughs> I hope super he's not t- listening. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fine. <laughs> a 
Okoye runs about six, 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 seven. He's got some long arms, big hands that can get up there and do it. And when you got an all state quarterback like Zach Grant throwing balls around to you. Well, he had two steps on that on that safety over uh-huh. there. Just went straight up the seam. Didn't bobble, didn't waver, didn't do anything. Gonna fake a handoff. He's gonna roll left. And he's gonna be looking for it's number six on the intended Brenton receiver. Brassfield. Brassfield. And he just kind of threw it too much to the inside. Brassfield wasn't able to make the catch, but he was wide open. I mean, boy, Zach's got to hit him on that play. If you, Brass, get, yeah. you get him that wide open in the game, you've got to hit that. Brassfield, one of those talented freshmen coming up off of that freshman team that had some great success last year. A lot of youth on this receiving core, but you've got some talent in there. Dagan West in there, number 24. Jaden Smith in there as well. Okoye, Britton Brassfield. Uh, Coach Gunner, he still calls the plays, but he does it with signals. He doesn't send a guy in and out all the time. And, man, he's going to hit Okoye. He's going to score. Man, he just went up over that cornerback. At number 10, Logan Rutledge was just completely, totally outmatched. I that's a beautiful throw. I, what was the catch? It was a catch to him, and the throw was high. He Excuse threw it me, up boys. and said, hey, well, he had confidence he was going to go get it. Well, My you, gosh. When you got meat hooks the size of, like, I've got some big meat hooks, and I know that Okoye's got the same size hands as I do, and when you just throw that thing up there and let your big man go get it, and he sure got him. BB's on the board, first touchdown of the season. I think we're witnessing a star being born right here, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. PAT is good, so I guess we will have special teams, but no rush on the PAT, so that may be the reason for it. But Yeah, don't get hurt on something like that. But what was that, four plays? Four plays, and two, two big ones went to Okoye, and that resulted in a touchdown. Man, the very opening play was a 40-yard, just straight fly route down. It was, well, they call that a seam. It's not a, really a fly. The fly is on the outside, but the seam means you're on the hash mark. They call that the seam because you got to – Safety in the middle, and you got a corner on the corner. There's a seam in between them. I don't know why it's called that. but I just want to point out, I'm looking down here at Dan Grant, Zach Grant's dad. He was sent back relaxing during that junior high game watching his son. His son is out yeah, for an injury right now on the junior high side. But now, Dan well, said he's set up a little bit more. That, the, that back is as straight as he can see, and he's, he's game was, watching right now. Well, I was getting ready to say something stupid. And I was like, how in the world do you see Dan? But I, I can see Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that noggin from here. <laughs> I can see that from here. I give that guy a hard time, and I really shouldn't. I love the guy to death. Oh, because he'd give a hard time straight back at you, too. <laughs> I've, I've seen him a couple times in basketball last year. and I mean, it's like doing – like with you. I mean, it's like yeah. doing games with family, man. I mean, we're all cutting up and, and bringing you good, accurate action. I mean, Dane's a great announcer in his own right. Yeah, he, but he's a proud dad. He posts oh, yeah. pictures of that boy all the time, as he should. I'd be proud of him, too. I mean – for what Zach started with and kind of where he is now, I and mean, I believe, and I don't want to misspeak, but he's he has lost some weight this year and put it on some mu- put on some more muscle. It's a little well, bit. All leaner. they did was work. Yeah, I mean, every day they were routes and running, and he was doing everything. But at the same time, he's he's got that label all state quarterback. Mm-hmm. Anything performance less than that, I mean, yeah. it, he's got a lot of expectations on him. Well, the kids got the. Got the vibrato about him and kind of that swagger about him, where it's not it's not overconfident. I mean, he's a confident kid. He knows he can get the job done, and he's got the core, he's got the coaching, he's got everything that goes into it. Now it just comes into him just getting the job done. Do what you did last year, and like I mentioned earlier, if that offensive line can give him just a couple more seconds, that's going to be a Badger offense. That's going to be hard to handle, I think. And the and the thing that I like the most about Zach, so after the game last year, I would always go over to the locker room because I wanted to hear Coach Gunner talk to his team. Yeah. And every time, him and Karanka would walk up to me. How you doing, sir? Yep. Yes, sir. No, sir. Both of those kids would just walk up to me. And that was that's just pretty impressive, man. And that's a byproduct of, and I'm. I'm I know we're talking a lot about Zach, but it's all these kids. They've got some great parents. They've got a great upbringing. The teachers over at the school. It's instilling that respect factor that a lot of kids have lost. Good tackle in the backfield. Well, I've gotten I've gotten into arguments through the years because I'm one of those. A lot of skills you're going to need in life, mm-hmm. you're going to learn them on that football field. Oh, really? What is that? And I've had yep. countless people who didn't play the game. Yep. Well, respect, mm-hmm. hard work, and discipline. No one to do the right thing. Take a little bit of pride. Have some self-respect. Do your best. Absolutely. And Coach Gunner is going to get that out of him. So the skills, 
you know, one day he's going to need a job or he's going to have to go out, apply for a job or whatever. And those skills are going to come into play. And anybody with any credibility who can help you, they're going to be looking for that. And I applaud that. I'm, I'm very impressed with well, a lot of the players I met last year. Very impressive on this team. Keandre Barker on the tackle. I broke up that running back for Heber Springs. That was number 27. Parker Brown broke two tackles way in the backfield, but broke those where Keandre was there to – Make the tackle, makes it third down and long, third down and 15, I believe. Well, one of the questions I had is is that sophomore, Mason Harbin, is he going to be able to play defense? And he's over here on this left end, and I'm thinking that's a great play. This kid's athletic. Strong. He's, yeah, he's, he's going to be able to have some quickness and get to that quarterback. Well, BB's been able to break that offensive line down a little bit and try to get some rushes in there. And they're rushing him with three. Goodness. And there he is, Mason Harvin, met the sack. He's got about an eight-yard loss on that. And he ran through the line to get over to the to the right side of the field when he was at left defensive end. Yeah. How good is that, though? If you're rushing three and you still get pressure on the quarterback and you can drop eight back, in, or I guess seven because Harvin got the sack just on the spot. But yeah, you but can rush you, three and drop seven back or eight when, back. When one of the fastest guys on the team is your defensive end, yeah, uh-huh. you can do that. Good friend of mine, he's up from Mountain View. He played defensive end at, at Washita. He said he was the second fastest guy on the team. <laughs> of course, he was 6'3", 245, and ate gunpowder for breakfast. Mean and a snake. Fourth and long, and there, yep, no rush on this. So here's the punt for Heber. Well, and they need to they need to practice their lineups and stuff. Of course, I would have the return guy field in those punts. Field those punts. Don't let that ball hit the ground if you can help it. You know, most people are conservative and they're like, oh, no, don't catch it. You might fumble or, you're, or muff it or whatever. No, nah, go catch yeah. that. That thing hits that ground and gives them 15 more yards. That's the, that's the equivalent of giving up a long pass mm-hmm. or getting a 15-yard penalty. Exactly. Don't give up that yardage. Go catch the ball. That's me, though. They don't pay me to coach, though. Well, there's a reason they poked me and you up here instead of putting us on the sideline. Uh, exactly. I like, know everything up here. Well, though. we we got a face for our stream. We got a face <laughs> for radio. Well, now something else we got to talk about. Now that we got all this high tech technology, they ought to put that camera on us some. Well, you know, at halftime. So Avery McMullen, one of my kids in Madison, also brought up the same thing. We have a GoPro that we'll probably mount right here, so we can. We'll have. So to. I can't wear my tank top. I'll have to wear a shirt. Yeah, yeah you have okay. to. Yeah, you have to look presentable. All right, here's Zach going to do a little inside screen. He's going to hit Keandre Barker, and he's going to try to get out to the outside. He's going to gain five on the play. Boy, Zach was just real patient. Got a flag down on the yeah, play as right well. By, that's got to be a late hit on the quarterback, huh? No, they're going to get him they're for backing. holding. It, it was happened right as he threw that ball. Well, they're saying a personal. Is that a personal? What, would he, what did he do? It's a personal foul. Either that or if he went like that, maybe holding. But he had his hand open. He didn't have it clenched. Oh, well, it may, be, it may have been a personal foul. Who knows? Um, well, they're backing them up 15. So First and a mile. Now ball's at the six-yard line. Yeah, that's un- I didn't see what, had, what happened on the play, though. So here's Zach. Zach's going to get in motion. He's going to hand it off to – that's Keandre again, yeah, I believe. Keandre. Keandre's going to get a lot of work in this year. And, man, we got a couple sophomores that are going to do real good this year. A couple sophomores, but these sophomores are uber athletic on this team this year. Well, you've got a sophomore going, you know, starting defensive end mm-hmm. and very aptly. I'm, I'm willing to bet you're going to see him at wide out or tight end or something. Absolutely. Coach is going to want the ball in his hands because Coach knows how, how good of an athlete he is. And if and if you get a guy like, you know, um, got another penalty flag here on the play, another false start, second or third false start that this team has had in this ball game. You know, you get a kid like Harbin. He's like, Coach, I don't care. Put me in. I want to play. I don't right. care where you put me. Put me in tackle. If there's four or five sophomores on that field that'll do that, and with these seniors advancing. I mean, this, this team's going to be good, man. I'm very impressed with what I see so far, mainly, you know, because of Zach Grant and Okoye. Man, what a what an athlete. 
Here's Zach. He's a drop back. He's going to hit another screen over here. And he was trying to hit Ryan Summers there, and Ryan just couldn't hold on to the ball. It was actually a good play. If he catches that, he's gone. There was only one defender, and it was two blockers who had him. Just to pinch out in front. and I don't want to say it's miscommunication right now, but I think it's just kind of getting these guys on the same page. I mean, you're running through these drills and practice, and it's kind of monotonous at some point. But now you're in these actual game action and kind of getting – is it jitters in your system? Is that probably – is that the best way to – yeah, probably, probably the sophomores. Right yeah, well, you got a lot of people in the crowd. They haven't had this crowd watching them yet. Yep, it's been these 5 a.m. practices with nothing but the dew on the on the field. That's mom and dad, cheerleader, and whatever's over here watching you. And he's going to throw a long out right to number 17. That he's going to get Wyatt. He's going to get most of those back. Fourth and – we'll call it fourth and ten. Yeah, but he got back to the original line of scrimmage, so that was – They've gained 16 yards in two plays. We'll send the punt unit out. Looks like. Well, and, and Zach's not trying to get the first down. He's trying to get his timing right. Absolutely. I mean, he's trying to make a good pass, make a good catch. Well, look who we got back there punting. You got Jaden Smith back there punting now. With gloves on. How in the world can he do that? <laughs> How in the world can a. Well, he got the roll, though. Yeah. That wasn't the best punt. punt in the world, but he, he got the roll back to about the 48-yard line. Yeah, he's looking like – I guess he's going to keep those gloves on. Is he going to be the starting punter? or? I very was, well may could be, but maybe just drying out some things as well. Because it was Jaffet last year or Jaffet? Jaffet. I couldn't – I never get that right. Three minutes remaining here in this first quarter of play, or this quarter of play. We'll have one final quarter. Maverick Walker is going to be number 11. And I'm telling you, I'm just going to struggle with that all year because I'm going to be looking for Brooks. <laughs> 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 i got to get these new guys down. Got to study that roster and get used to them. Well, just like while the players watch film, now we got this game to go back and watch. We can – You'll see a lot of these kids here tonight. I mean, every, I think everybody will get a lot of good reps and tackle in the backfield good stuff. This defense, Patrick, has been playing well. I mean, I don't know the strength of the Hebrew offensive line, but, boy, they just ran into nothing. They just hit a wall, and there's a flag at, right at midfield. Looked like one of the BB players was holding another player back. A little bit of preseason jawing back and forth. Or may have been some offsetting flags. Clock is still running. Two minutes to go in this first. Well, are there going to be two of these, or is it just that one? I mean, they've had two possessions each side of the ball. I don't know if I, that's, they're going to do Blocking the back on yeah. BB. Sometimes they'll call that a, you know, like an illegal slap to the face or mm -hmm. whatever. Of course, in my day, not only was that legal, it was encouraged. <laughs> it was rewarded. You can't do that now, Dave. Can't bust a dude upside his head like you used to could. No. It was usually my head getting busted up on. <laughs> Man, I was a blocking dummy with a pulse. <laughs> that is, that's all I was. God, I've missed you. They beat me so bad. Yeah, but I had a good attitude. You don't have to tell me right now, but do you have any new, like, zingers this year? New oh, one? just hundred. Oh, uh, no. oh good. Oh. I'm not, hey, I'm just, just. Not revealing all your don't tricks Don't show your yeah. old cards yeah. yet, you know. I'd have some. Lou Holtz and Larry the Cable Guy. And nice. That's what I'm talking Bum about. Bum Phillips. <laughs> I might even throw a Ric Flair in there. Did you see he wrestled his first match in like 30 years? It was, it was his last or match. It, yeah, supposedly his last match. 73 years old, and the dude passed out twice during the match because he was body, dehydrated. His body couldn't do it, but, boy, he was out there trying to talk some trash. <laughs> 73. Woo! <laughs> I gave that interview the other day. I got a big house on the big side of town. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got more cars than you got friends. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I could watch him all day, man. Oh, and I didn't send you. I got one to send you. You know, there's just some people that just have, they just have some creative ways to them. Boy, they got a round to the left side. And that's going to be that 27 that we talked about for Heber. That was and Parker, Parker Brown. Brown. Yep. He got over to the left side. He got an opening, and he took it home. 
He's going to tie this up. Well, it's seven to six. Got a great block there on the far side, and he just turned on the Jets and got into the end zone. That'll do it. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Good Lord. Her face of Goldberg's body. <laughs> Well, Seven the horn to blue. So here's hey, as time is running out, with this tie and kick, we got um, who is five? Gideon Tate, five eleven, uh, junior. Don't no pressure, kid. You miss it, we lose. You make it, we tie. And the kick before yeah, the halftime. Yeah, they're not even doing anything. So he makes it right down the middle. That'll do it for the first half of this scrimmage. When we come back here in about. Uh, seven minutes of time. There'll be another halftime break. Get the get, get some water, and they'll come back for another twenty minute running clock half, and that will do it for our scrimmage. So we're going to take a break here for a moment, and when we come back, we'll have second half action coming up next here on the Badger Sports Network. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Patrick Sinclair in Cabot today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. A Perfect Bloom and BB is your hometown destination for all of your floral needs, gift shopping, clothing, and wedding preparation. You can check out their incredible gourmet food selection, everything from dips, meal mixes, and party accessories. A Perfect Bloom also has all of the trendy fashions like Gypsy Jazz, Con Con, Anna Grace, and so much more. Plus, their gift shop has everything from candles to gift baskets, jewelry, and so much more. Stop by A Perfect Bloom at 407 West DeWin Henry Drive in BB or give them a call at 501 501- 882-2144. Network Services Group is a proud sponsor of BB Badger. Well, Patrick, seven minutes turned into about a minute and a half. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, refs, the refs are ready to go to Sonic. Get that new – Have you? Yeah. uh-oh, what? No, the, what? The new churro milkshake. Churros, that's those little crisp things. Like funnel cakes as well. Yeah. I've never had a churro, but someone described it to me as a funnel cake. I had them at the fair. Cinnamon and sugar mixed in with some vanilla ice cream, and you got a churro sticking out of the top of it. Oh, my God. It hits different on a, on a hot day like it is today. Does Sonic deliver? No, but I've got plenty of kids down here that are just wanting to run errands for Man, me. Man, we need to – here, give them the keys to my car. Go <laughs> get this up. Uh, what is it? A churro? A churro milkshake or the churro Sonic Blast or something like that. I don't know exact, the exact name of it. Yeah, well, that garlic burger last year was my – oh, that was my go-to. It's a milkshake. Yeah, Madison. As soon as you said Sonic and someone go get it, Madison popped her head around the door real oh, quick. Oh, man. Well, Madison could make friends real quick around here. <laughs> well, the Badgers are going to start with possession, Patrick, at the 20-yard line or about the – no, excuse me, 27-yard line. So you're not mad at me? No, I ain't mad at you. After what I did to you last year? What did you do to me last year? You didn't get a phone call from Waffle House? <laughs> I don't think – did I? All right, so when you walk in Waffle House in that little vestibule, if you will, yes. they have a sheet of a clipboard out there if yeah. you're interested in employment. Yes. Yeah. Write the name down with your – well, <laughs> you somebody might have accidentally put your – Oh, number. Lordy. <laughs> I'm hoping they would call you. I don't guess they did. Nope, never got that call. <laughs> I hope nobody from Sonic is listening because they're going to say, you ain't supposed to be doing that. But I thought it was kind of funny. All right, here's Zach. Hey, He's it. dropping back. He's going to hit an out route over there, and that's – uh. No, that's uh, Keandre no, that's a Barker. And Keandre could not hold it. That is nine, right? Yeah, that was nine. I was going to say, it looked like Koye, but Koye is down here on the near side. So that was a great route. Great route. Uh, good throw by Zach. He just couldn't He just couldn't hold the ball. Got to make that catch. Well, when conference starts, that's a uh, – you got to make that play right there. What's game – I don't want to say it's like a game-changing play, but like – that changes the whole tempo of the offense that you have going. Well, or the whole game plan, I guess. Every coach will tell you you got to take what they give you. Absolutely. If they're going to give you that eight yard curl or eight yard out route, throw it till they stop you. Yeah. I mean, 
you got to you got to do you got to do an eight yard route. You got to do an eight yard curl. You got to do an eight yard out route because one or two running plays and you're faced with you know third and six, third and seven. You got to have an eight yard route. Every every team in Arkansas has an eight yep. yard route. You got to have that. I don't think we're necessarily going to see one here in this ball game being a scrimmage, but this third and five has Zach Grant's name written all over, going right up the middle. Beautiful pass just out of the reach. Well, he had Maverick Walker wide open. He ran a little curl route. Yep. He curled it to the inside. Uh, his linebacker was outside of him, so he was wide open, but he was trying to hit the, hit the go route over here. And I can't remember. I didn't see who that number was. I think that was uh, – Was it 23? It was Harbin. Yep. So Harbin's going to be the up back on the punt. The punt is going to be Jaden. Boy, again, just so impressed with Jaden last year. Right, he gets a good punt That's there. A much better punt there from Jaden. Makes the fair fumble on they the fumble. play. But they're not going to. No, they're going to give that to BB. Yeah, no, they're going to. Oh, they're going to single it back to. Um. Well, I mean, if the special teams isn't going to. Special teams technically can't rush. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, special yeah. teams, it doesn't, it's not going to count. Yeah, we hear PA announcer Alex Hell in the background. It's kind of echoing the same thing. So, But so much of these scrimmages, Patrick, I mean, it's like it's situational. Like in that situation, like I was – Heads up play there from BB. I mean, that's that, like I mentioned, game changer a little bit ago. That's a game changing play right there. Well, but what coach is telling him, he's not telling him, hey, you messed up. You did this and you should have done. That's not what he's talking to him about. Exactly. Yeah. He's talking to him about in the game. Right. You've got to read this guy. Absolutely. Know where you're going to go ahead of time and figure it out before you get there. Don't be put in a position where you have to react. Know where you're going to go and know where you should be. He, situational awareness exactly. is, is what they're talking about. Parker Brown on the carry gets a 10-yard gain. It looked like it may have been a little bit of a hold there, but no flag was thrown. It'll be Heber Ball. Are they going to give it a first down? Yep, they're going to give it a first down. So, first and 10, that'll move the chains. Well, we ain't going to start on the refs just yet. I mean, we we still got a little break-in period here. Well, yeah, it's practice for them as well. They better get it right. Cause what's, your, what's your rule? Gonna be, Never bash the players. May question the coaches. No, it, the refs are full. Hey, they're it's fire game. Yes. Speaking of refs, yeah, Bobby Pruitt mm -hmm. was elected into the ref the I saw officials. That. I don't know the exact organization, but he's in the Hall of Fame, man. I mean, that's that's huge, dude. Hall of Fame official. Well, I mean, he had a very good athletic career. That's he had a, a yeah, good exactly, administrative yeah. career. Yep. Jacksonville, and now he's refereeing. You know, he plays softball in the 70 and over. I'm close to that family. Do business with them. Hall of Fame, man, that's big stuff to me. I ain't in no Hall of Fame. No, they They told me to leave. I could be in the Hall of Fame of the eating category, maybe. Flag on the play. You're going to run out of bounds. That's got to be on Heber Springs there. Yeah, that's got to be a hold on that lead blocker. There yeah, they're, gonna, right not even, they're not even debating that. Has there been something on this defense? I mean, we've talked about I mean, This defense has played pretty well, except for that last play right there before the end of the first half. Is there some areas of emphasis you may work on? I've seen a, a few broken tackles in this game. They're going to decline the penalty. Well, but he's, play. again, it's situational awareness. Yep. You need to be lined up right. You know, if it's third and two, it's different than second and nine. Right. Line up on your man the way you're supposed to line up. Read his helmet. You know, they, they talk about reads. And if that helmet goes down like it's going to block, it's going to be a run. Now, if they stand up, you know, and it's going to be a pass block, yep. your linebackers have got to know where to go. So, you got to know the situation. Again, he's not critiquing him for what he did or whatever no. on that individual play. He's telling him what he where he needs to be. You know, so many kids at this level – don't understand the mental aspect of the game. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Anticipation. Boy, there's a late hit. Boy, there's a – it's got to be a face mask. I mean, he tackled him, but it wasn't really after the whistle. He must have had his face mask. 
See, these are these type of balls. Let's see what the flag is here. Probably personal foul. It'll be a personal foul on BB. See, even the like even the officials are in shorts today. Everybody's just casual, just kind of getting back into the swing of things. I'm okay with the shorts. I'm okay. Absolutely. Those tall black socks? Uh-uh. <laughs> no. What, dude, what are you trying to do? I mean, you're wearing dress socks with shoot, tennis <laughs> shoes, man. You can't do that. You if look, I did that, my oh my gosh, my kids! You gotta my, look, you gotta look good as an official, though, don't you? Uh, my, I have three daughters, Pata. That would get called <laughs> quick. Dad, what are you thinking? <laughs> First and ten now at the twenty-nine yard line, and this BB defense needs to lock in here. Obviously, the game doesn't count, and stats aren't being counted. But you want to? Now we got all sides. They were trying to anticipate a blitz there. And that was going to be Jackson Marsh. Just kind of jumped the gun there. Haber went on a hard count, which was intentional. Gave him a first down. Got a little excited on that. Well, that's good coaching. Call that hard count and make him jump. I mean, that's, that's smart playing. Again, that's a situation where coaches got to tell them, don't jump. Yep. Don't listen to the cadence. Don't hear anything. Watch the ball. If you're watching that ball, you're not going to jump off sides. Well, this defensive line has gotten act penetration all night long, and there again they did it. Didn't jump the snap, and looky there. Five or six Badgers all over that ball carry. That was number 27 on the carry. That's Mark around the, again. That's who scored the touchdown. He also returned the kick. He's their fastest player, and he just got ran down by two Badgers. You know, it's things like that. Of course, you know, a high schooler, he's wanting to make a play. Hey, hey, mom and dad, watch me, you know. Girlfriends. Well, he's going he's gonna to hear that cadence, and he's going to try to jump it. Dude, don't do it. Don't listen to anything. Watch that football. Having some good discipline. Well, that's the mental part of the game. Absolutely. And I, I, I had coaches harp that over and over and over. I had a coach tell me one time, he said, I'll, I'll very rarely ever get on to you for a physical mistake. You drop a pass, you fumble, it's part of it. The greatest players who's ever played the game have done it. Yep. The mental part of it, I'm going to crawl you up one side and down the legs. Mm -hmm. If you should be inside and you line up outside or whatever it is, if you just ain't thinking, I'm, I'm coming after you. Well, it's little things like that that you've been coached all summer long in spring ball, and by this point in the year, you should have that – like the bare basics and, like you said, the mental part of the game, being in certain spots, that should be engraved in your head by this point, at least in, or at least in, in theory. So have you ever seen that pregame speech by Al Pacino in any given Sunday? Yes. All right. I'd love to air that one of these days, but okay. it, it has a word that cannot be shown or aired. Yeah, time out on the field. But he says on there, you're fighting for that inch. Absolutely. And you're willing to die for that inch. Uh -huh. You know, I don't picture Al Pacino as being a football coach, but he gives a great speech. <laughs> Probably get Al Pacino to intro a Badger game one night. Oh, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Say hello to my, my little, little friend. friend. His name is Zach Grant. <laughs> uh, we're going to be quoting Al Pacino the rest of the yeah, year. Yeah, we will. That's what we need to do. We need to pick, like, a character of the day and just do quotes. You know? Either that or, like, we can, like, have people text in, which I, we did that during – you mentioned that. I think you did it a couple of times during basketball and did it to, during football during our state tournament game when we did softball. I brought it out there. I was like, hey, if you're, you're out there watching – because it was in the middle of the day. Kids are in class. and There was watch parties all throughout the school. And, you like, I didn't even get it out, and people were blowing up yes, my phone. Just do like, it. dude, watch it. We want shout-outs. We want all that. Uh, so I played in the golf tournament last weekend. Yep. And one of the guys in the group started quoting, you know, Caddyshack. <laughs> he had the movie memorized. And I'm sitting there. He's saying all those Rodney Dangerfield lines. And, man, we just sat there and quoted Caddyshack the whole day. It was such actually a, fun. Such a good movie. Big third down here for this BB defense. Running a little quick screen. Tunnel screen there to the to the right, and, boy, just nothing there. Defender was covered. He got mad because he got popped. He got popped. That throw was way behind him. Oh, that outside backer over here, who was that? What's his number I think it was here? 17 that was on the coverage I there. I can't tell if that's a 7 or a 17. He's in the – he's in the – well, he's not corner now. 
Hayden Wyatt. Well, Hayden come up and rung his bell, and 18 jumped up and was just looking at him. See what Heber elects to do here. It looks like they're going to line up for the field goal. Uh, 30, this is a 46-yard field goal. Yeah, I was going to say, you're better than me than trying to figure out yardage distance on the field. That's one thing I have not been able to do yet. But timeout on the field, timeout Heber Springs. Well, and again, Coach, he ain't trying to put three points on the board. He's trying to see if this kid with a little bit of pressure here in a, yep. in a, in a game situation, he's trying to see if he can make it. Absolutely. You know, it's different out here with no pads on and nobody's watching you and your helmet's off and you're kicking 50 yarders. Well, can you do it in a game? With the, light, with the lights on, the full pad, everything about it. Well, yeah, and family in the stands uh -huh. and people watching. Well, starting next Friday, October – or excuse me, October. Well, you can tell I'm ready for cool weather to get here. <laughs> August 20 – well, and there's another reason I'm ready for October to get here, but that we'll get there in a second. Uh, August 26th, next Friday night, back here inside Brewerin Stadium, it will be the kickoff to the – the official kickoff of the 2022 season. The Jacksonville Titans making their way inside Brewerin Stadium. Former conference opponent last year, but since, like you mentioned, with the, all the realignment and everything, now they will be a non-conference opponent as well. Well, I wasn't going to say anything about that, but now that you done brought it up, you may not want to be listening that weekend. The weekend of October? Yes. No. Because I'm not, I'm not going to let up on you at all. <laughs> well, I'm going to be saying, I hope like half the, half the people out in the church, or we're, we're, I hope a lot of people are listening because I'm going to give you some business on that one. I have been strictly told, which I was going to anyway, but the... You're not going to have a little earplug yet? I, I'm not going to have earplugs because that's wedding <laughs> rehearsal. I, in, in my defense, I gave plenty of heads up to the higher-ups here. There's like, hey, if you if the schedule plays out like it did last year, this could be homecoming. And I, they tried to move it, not for my benefit, but just trying to try something different. But the way the schedule plays out after homecoming, Badgers aren't back home for another month. So it's October 7th and then November 4th. So, And it's almost too hot to do homecoming in the middle of September anyway. So – it turns up to be Valonia, but taking me out of the picture, that homecoming game against Valonia on October 7th is going to be probably one of the best atmosphere. Oh, yeah, atmospheres that's always a great game. It's always well, a great game. And you add in now it's homecoming. So it's just like it makes it makes everything mean just a little bit more. And like you said, too, and I, I don't want to, like, make excuses for the conference we were in, but like Winthrop, Pulaski Academy, Christian, teams that you – I'm not going to say you knew you were overmatched, but it's a different type of athlete that Pulaski Academy gets versus the BB Badger athlete. No disrespect to anybody. Well, if we had an unlimited budget and we had an unlimited pool to pick from, we yep. would be that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Pass intercepted, and here comes Heber all the way the other way. That was kind of a overthrow there by Zach. The receiver, uh, he was open, but there wasn't a big window there to get it. He just kind of threw it over his head, and that was picked off by uh, number 13, Chandler Weber. Five eight hundred and thirty pounds. How great would that be at your ceremony? You had like what those little security guys wear, a little thing in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so we're get, we're getting married on that Saturday, the eighth. But I'll, obviously, the night before, we'll have the rehearsal up in B Branch at our venue that we're getting married at. But uh, I, for whatever reason, I thought you were getting married on that Friday. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, well, the joke around the school was that we needed to move our wedding to the seventh, and our wedding would be during halftime <laughs> of the homecoming game. Oh, I'd be in your ear. I'd be – I would have put my hand over the microphone. Hey, he just threw it away. Man. He just that threw it away. was a stupid play. <laughs> Gunner's mad. Look give, at him. Give him play-by-play play with the wedding. And he, he leans <laughs> in for the kiss, and he did it. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right, here's the quarterback getting sacked. Boy, mm. BB Badgers went through him like water. Good grief, that defensive line. Harbin's right there, and uh, that big nose tackle. Who's this mug? Boy, he's at 79. Oh, he looks like a horse. Who is this kid? Probably Garrison Waldrop, Brody Benton. I'm not. Garrison played a lot last year. That was that nose guard. Man, he and Harbin just went right through him. Not impressed with the Heber offensive line. They're going to struggle this year. Five fifty-eight to go here in the scrimmage, and this BB defense has been on their heels for the majority of here of this quarter. But they stepped up big time last time, forced the missed PAT or the missed field goal. Well, the interception kind of hurt. It did. So they blew this one dead. Got a flag over here. Referee is pointing at the. I 
I think this one is signaling false start here on the near side. Yeah, he's signaling that number 18, which this kid right here, that Dalton Yancey, 5'6", 122 pounds, that slot receiver. Little Betty. I don't know how he saw him jump off sides. But sometimes when you see those little, I don't want to say little receivers, but immediately it brings to mind of like Wes Welker, uh, who uh, – uh, quick feet. Quick feet. Yeah, yeah, just those quick feet receivers that can kind of go missing in the in the defense, and then you, he just pops up open just out of nowhere. Well, if he watches the ball, he's not going to do that. Cole Beasley I mean, was the other one I was trying to think of. Oh, God, Cole Beasley. How good was he? Uh-huh. Uh, pretty good run there by the Hebrew runner. Got a lot of that yardage yeah, back. Yeah, got that, that penalty. yardage back. We haven't called his name yet. That is number – Well, I guess that was 27. I thought it was 25. Well, that was 27, can, Parker I'll, Brown. I'll promise you before next Friday you'll have a numerical roster. <laughs> well, nobody does that other than Hebrew. Yep. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Well, I would do that in my office with a pen and paper yeah. or something. I don't know how to do spreadsheet, whatever. Well, that's just where me and you compliment each other. I don't ever need little that. little screen pass, complete good pursuit there from that D. Boy, I'll tell you what. I mean, BB's gave up a couple times defensively just on some big plays and a couple run-throughs, but it seems like every time, whether it's the run coming across or coming across, cutting across the field to that short pass, there's two or three guys there every time. Well, they're smothering them. Even if they exactly. do make a completion, they're not, they're not getting anything with it. So they didn't kick the field goal a while ago. Now they are going to line it up. This is going to be a – He's going to be at the 26, so this is going to be a 36-yarder. Well, folks, that's impressive. Mark Crafton, who's one of the coaches, just called Matt, and I can see Mark. He's telling Mark what they're going to do. Man, you got a call from the sideline, kind of like in blindside, Matt. So we're going to have a timeout. There's three minutes to go in this session, and they're going to, they're going to run it like a real game, they said. So I guess that means they're going to stop the clock. Did you hear what I said? Didn't always. That was just like in blindside. They got a phone call from the coach on the sideline. <laughs> run the dang ball. Remember that, <laughs> Miss Tui? <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath going up and down these stairs. I was relaying a message. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to have a regulation last two minutes, so the clock will stop on first downs and conversions and things like that. Well, that's good. I mean, that's more game-type situation. Now, you know, you bring the clock into play, and it, it makes your decisions a little different. You're going to have a little reverse here, inside reverse. He's gone. Well, that was – he got tripped up there, lost his mouthpiece. It was Caleb O'Neill on the run there, another one of those sophomores coming up this year. Man, he had some wheels. He made the turn and did good, but he got tripped up on the – About the 35-yard 30 line. 30-yard line, which how do you trip on the 30-yard line? It's been there 125 years, man. How do you do that? Well, when you got big feet like we do. Uh, he was anxious to go. He was he – was, He saw a bunch of green yeah, grass. He was, was ready to turn the jets horses up, man. He was turning them loose. Here's Zach going to take the snap. He's going to fake the handoff with a pitch inside, and he's going to get that to Jaden Smith. Jaden's going to get about three on the carry, maybe four. Well, they're giving him – About five or six Yeah, they're on giving that. him six on that. Boy, that's a tough play to defend. You had Skylar Richardson coming in motion straight across, looking like a little toss play, and then shovel it straight up to Jaden Smith. That's a tough play to defend. They're going to see that play a lot. Absolutely. You're, you're going to see the ball in Jaden Smith's hands. So it's going to bring up second and five. Trip receivers to the left, one one to the left, trip right. Here's Zach. He's looking for a middle screen. He's just going to throw it away. Very ill-advised play. Boy, and Coach Gunner is telling him about that. He, he just threw it up for a prayer. He was trying to hit it over here to um, Keandre, and he threw it about five yards short, and it was almost picked off by the defensive end for Heeper, number 23, so – well, Zach's not going to – he can't do that in the game. No. Because you, you do that with, you know, Valonia or somebody, you're going you're gonna to get that picked. 
So with 109 left, I'm not sure Heber's going to get the ball in the game situations because BP gets a first down here. They may run that clock out. Here's going to go to the right side, mm. and he's looking for – He's looking for Koye again. Koye, and it's going to be overthrown. So that's going to bring up fourth and four. A little too much mustard on that one. He had him open. Had a good – I mean, it was the perfect read. Well, fourth down, they're going to have to punt. I would think they're not going to let him go for it for on fourth. I wouldn't figure at this point, at this side of the field, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, well, that's what the ref is telling. Coaches lined up to run a play, and I think he's saying you have to punt or you have to give up the ball. The old man just texted me and said, Man, y'all are doing good tonight. Who's sure good to hear you? That's my daddy. Oh, Papa Jenkins. Yeah, that's Mr. Jenkins to me. They are going to go for oh, it. Oh, that's and, interference. And yeah, interference, interference all day long. Yeah, he was trying to hit the, a post route there. That number six, I believe. Number 12, Zachary Parker was beat like a running mule. He just reached out with both hands and grabbed some jersey. Stop him. <laughs> so that's going to be an automatic first down. It was a good throw by Zach. Good play call. Quick slant there. Man, with a guy with speed like he's got. And that was Brenton Brassfield. Oh, wait, they're calling it back. So what? He had two handfuls of jersey. Yeah, it's a – it's a – Okay. But it's a spot foul. It's not a, from the line of scrimmage, right? No, it's 15 regardless. Okay. NFL would be the spot foul. Holding is – holding is spot foul. Holding I'm is spot. I'm sorry. He didn't – well, he did hold him, but it's interference. Yeah. All right, so Zach's going to come back. He's got – That's Brassfield again. Brassfield to left, over to the left. He's going to make a good route. Good move there. Defender couldn't hold him. He's going to get another 12 yards out of it. He's going to get down to the 22-yard line with 32 seconds left to go. And, boy, they're in the hurry-up offense. They're already down there on the ball. Coach is signaling in the play. Here comes Zach. 23 seconds remaining. Three receivers to the right. It's first and 10. Here comes Zach. He's looking left, and that's going to be get batted down. He was trying to hit Jaden Smith over here. Jaden was just running a little quick inside slant. But boy, that got batted down by the defensive end. Well, it didn't help that Brasfield and Jaden looked like they collided. Look, I almost trying to do like obviously you're not allowed to set screens and kind of set those pick plays, but it looked like they were kind of trying to run something similar to that timeout on the field. You can't. You can't set a screen but intentionally. You, intentionally, but you can you run can, that slant. You can like, unintentionally. Run, yeah, unintent yeah like, exactly. You can't go block, but if you accidentally get in the way. It looked like that's what they were going for, but they got time out on the field. And, Patrick, we had a pretty good crowd here on a Friday, on a Tuesday Very night. Very good. Very good. Hot, well, people hot are, afternoon, but. People are glad to get the kids out of the house and get back to some football and, I mean, back to school. Volleyball will be in action. They're in a benefit game this coming Thursday, but they'll kick off their season next week as well in some tournament action. A lot of stuff happening, and obviously with football, every sport will be streamed live here on the Badger Sports Network. Volleyball from the arena will take care of that. Obviously, Patrick and I will be going to and from all of our um, senior Whoa. high football games. Or first new, We got some new road trips this year. I mean, we're going to Newport this year, uh -huh. going to Whitehall, Pine Bluff, Watson Chapel, Joe T. They all have a Sonic. All, you got that right. All, that's the first thing I looked at. Six seconds to go. Well, if you have any time whatsoever during basketball season, we need to get up to Harding and watch Riley. We do need to. I mean, I want to go watch that kid play because at that level, you know. It's, and in it's that a, type of an atmosphere, too. I mean, oh, me God, you both Harding. know how wild Harding can get oh, sometimes. Oh, that place is loud. Well, it kind of pains me to say that being an Arkansas Tech grad, but. Little screen play. They find Jaden. Got Jayden's some blockers. Got a good run, boy. He's met head on. He gets hit hard. He got hit hard by that corner over here, and he made him pay. That kid's hard. He he can't get up. He's having assistance to get up. Jaden rung his bell, ran him slap over. Well, that'll do it. That's the end of the ball game, and we end this thing in a seven to seven tie. Although, I mean, obviously, it doesn't count for record or anything, but. Patrick, it's a good start here for the both of these both sides of the teams. Good work, good practice. Uh, Zach a, had a really good night, I thought. Yeah, and got a lot that you can learn from. Koye, well. uh, uh, what's that little number number nine? K 
Keandre. Well, Keandre is going to be – man, he is going to be key. He's going to be key. And Peanut, Peanut's got to get in there and get in the mix. Peanut's going to be a valuable asset, I think. Of course, it's it's going to boil down to your defense sometimes, Absolutely. too. There's going to be a couple claim games where your defense is going to have to make some stops. Lots of room to grow. Well, that'll wrap it up here from this scrimmage, as we mentioned a moment ago. Next Friday – Patrick and I will be back on the air. Pre-game starts at 6.30 with the game starting at 7 o'clock p.m. right here from Bro Irwin Stadium. Your Badgers taking on the Jacksonville Titans to kick off the 2022 season. Buddy, I've missed you. That was good. I'm glad to be back. I'm getting excited, man. It's it's here. Football season's here. I'm racing back. Football's getting ready. And it's, it's here, boys. It's here. For Patrick Sinclair, I'm Matt Jenkins signing off, and we will see you guys Next Friday, right here from Badger, or I almost said Badger Sports Arena. Golly, I'm glad this is scrimmage for practice. <laughs> Bro Urban Stadium. Bro Urban Stadium. We'll be back here next Friday. Have a good night, folks. We appreciate you watching Badger football on the Badger Sports Network.